Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, this is your instructor, Engineer Mia Baat. And I hope you people are uh, doing really great and everyone is safe. Uh, please take really good care of yourself in the current situation. Anyways, uh, the topic of our today's lab is JSON and RESTful APIs. I'll be covering JSON and RESTful APIs in this video and in the next, in the coming video, I'll be using AJAX uh, for this JSON and RESTful APIs. So in this video, JSON and RESTful APIs and in the coming video, AJAX. Now, dividing this video into two parts, the first in the first part I have to focus on uh, the JSON so I'll be telling you what JSON is how to use it how to embed it in JavaScript and so on in the second part of this lab I'll be teaching you about the RESTful APIs the uh, get post update delete calls and I'll be using a, a freely available uh, software for that that is known as Postman anyways let's start with JSON so what is JSON? JSON is basically uh, JavaScript object notation and it is a very uh, nowadays it is a very common data format used for asynchronous browser and server uh, communication. Previously it was uh, th th this this thing was this communication was done using XML uh, and now it we use AJAX style for this. So that's why the name AJAX AJAX and X means XML. Anyways, coming back to JSON, so it is basically a, a, a data communication language. It's a very easy and easily understood and a very uh, easy formatted language. Uh, it, the, 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 the basic um, reason for its popularity is because. Uh, the JSON is a very basic is based on a very basic data structure. So JSON is a very widely used API and nowadays it's the best uh, API for data exchange and it works with many other programming languages like um, even with no SQL databases for example like Mongo, MongoDB uh, and uh, it, it is basically uh, an open source and it's it's sort of a text based language and it's a very light uh, lightweight language okay so some of the core features of the JSON language is that it is very easy to read it is basically language independent so it works across different languages it's very lightweight and the main part is it's scalable it can be expanded and uh, to more and more data the data types of json are uh, very simple as usual it has numbers it has strings it has boolean it has arrays and it has objects uh, let me show you uh, a very um, a sort of an example of uh, json so this is how json data looks like it basically json is a key value pair so whatever you write in json it has to be a key it has to be in the format of key and values so this is a key the first name and this is its value again this is the key and it's its values so this is the uh, syntax of json okay now uh, JSON and uh, JavaScript they are almost and almost they are same but there are very few differences which I'll be covering uh, in this lab okay I'll, uh, I'll use a website that is jsonlint.com it's right here uh, yeah jsonlint.com jsonlint.com is basically used for uh, this JSON syntax validation like whatever I write in here and I uh, and I validate the, um, the the writing so it, it will tell me that whether it is a correct JSON for it is in uh, a, a correct uh, JSON format or not okay we will come here in a moment now 
let's start uh, by f starting a starter um, file so I'll open the visual code and I'll open a folder in which I have this uh, this JSON starter file okay so this is the starter code and this is just a simple HTML um, starter code um, you people have used it before so whatever I'll be doing in here I'll be using the, the JavaScript okay so for example first of all I want to make uh, a JSON variable that is variable person let's say and this is the format and I use first name is equal to let's say Ali again quotes okay or, or, or let's say just just remove it so I uh, let's make an empty variable save it let's open this in a live server okay so How do I check it? I have to go to the inspect and then I'll go to console. So this is my console. Okay. Uh, live reload enable. Let's see what's the problem. Inspect console. Okay. So first of all, let's make an empty uh, object now let's add the first name in it and let's save it oh, sorry now if I write person here person it will say that the person object has this data that is first name Ali and it's an object all right now let me tell you what's the difference between JSON and JavaScript syntax in JavaScript we do not use these quotes here like if I remove it and now I save it so it will still work because JavaScript is accepted by the browser but the problem is that if I go to uh, the JSON validator JSON validator and I just paste it here so and validate the JSON it would it would give me an error now if I add these double quotes with the key and I validate it so it says it's a valid JSON so it was just a, a minor difference between between uh, the JSON and JavaScript okay so let's say the first name is Ali and so just get back to the JSON and then uh, last name is we have to use a comma comma after every uh, key value now let's say uh, this person has an age of uh, let's say 25 right so I've used strings I've used a number now let's use uh, mm, boolean so I would write let's say checked in or not checked in so let's say I say true so let's save it and Just clear it.
And now if I refresh it, it says that it has first name, last name, uh, age, and checked in. Now let's say I, I write person dot, let's say age, I click it, so 25. So this is how, how we use it. Now, moving a bit further, let's say I want to make uh, another object of person 2. So, what would I do? I would just make a, a variable of, let's say, uh, I'll name it people is equal to started and ended and I'll name it as person one and I'll make it a key now so this is the key <clears throat> this is the key now and these are the from here to here this is its value now this is a nested uh, nested data so this is a key this is its value and in between the key in between the values it has different keys and values so now what I what, what I can do is add another object within this people object so let's say a comma and then I say let's say just I copy paste it again person 2 and okay so so so, so the name of uh, this um, key should be unique and we have to use colons not equals here okay and I'll use first name is let's say uh, and last name is Ahmad Ali. Okay, age is let's say 30 and checked in is let's say false. Okay, so now let's save it and let's see what's in here. So I'll write person 2, let's say person 2. Sorry, if I write person 1, it will again give me the same error. This is because we have used these two keys in the people object so now to call person 2 and person 1 I have to use people first so I'll call it people and in people I have a nested value of person 1 now if, let's say if I click it so I'll get the uh, data of person 1 same if I do for person 2 I get the data so this is what how, how, uh, this is how we do the uh, nesting in uh, json so first of all i have created an, uh, an object a variable and within these codes i have used a key and its value and within this value i have a nest i have nested different key value pairs right so then again a key and values and within the values we have different key value pairs now let's if I want to validate this data in the website let's check if it is right or not validate JSON sorry we have to use a opening and ending ring so now let's validate and it's a valid JSON right <clears throat> so all right now the next topic here is let's go a, a little bit further in what we just did so I'll just go back to the previous uh, okay let's um, name it person again 
Well, let's do something. Let's copy paste it. Okay, so uh, now let's um, comment the code out. First, let's copy it so we can reuse it. Copy and now let's comment it out. It is control K C. Okay. Now, person. say first I name I use the name name is let's say uh, Ali comma mm, let's say the second one is his address address so now I'll use a nested uh, uh, nested data in this address so this is the key now use the pair uh, the, the value so there let's see uh, let, let's say I have street so street let's say it's uh, let's say he lives in the university so I use road number two now Okay, now let's say city. So city is shelter. Use a comma. So you just forget all these syntax very often. And then let's say his uh, country is for indefinite reasons. Pakistan. Okay, so this is the address. Now again, comma. Now let's say we want to know about his uh, hobbies. So I would use hobbies. Okay. I, I the next thing I want to teach you about is array. So for array we use square brackets, and within the square brackets you can write different things. Like let's say his first hobby is this, doing stuff. And uh, the second hobby is, let's say, uh, mm, traveling, maybe. Right. So these are his hobbies. And that's all for now, I guess. So let's save it. And now let's search for the person here. So name address hobbies so hobbies is basically an array having uh, two elements this is the array uh, the, the, this is the address having uh, nested objects and this is a simple name so for if I click object the uh, address so it will have city country and street now if I click on hobbies so it would say doing stuff and traveling so it has a length of two okay so now let's say I want to check about I want to see his hobbies. Okay, so what is what did the just came here and he wanted to know about the lock of the uh, office. Anyways, sorry for the interrupt interruption. Now let's use uh, person dot hobbies. So these are two. Now if I want to know about the first hobby, so I'll just use a zero. So it is doing stuff. Now let's say I want to change this doing stuff. It was wrong. So let's change it to something else. So I would use person dot hobbies zero is equal to uh, let's say football. Right. So now, if I check about the hobbies, so it has changed to uh, 
football and traveling so this is how we use uh, nested objects and arrays okay now let's say he owns a car so I would simply say car and I would again use nest here so let's say who what is the make of the car so for example it's it's a Honda it's a Honda then let's say what's the year so I would simply write a year and uh, let's say it's a 2015 Honda now it's color so it's red all right now let's save it so person now we have his name his address address has three more uh, key value pairs in there then we have hobby hobbies uh, uh, it's an array then we have the car so car has attributes like color make and year okay so now let's move towards a little bit more advanced very simple but uh, how do we um, so let's first copy paste it copy and paste okay Let's remove everything from here. Now let's say I want to make a list for uh, my friends and it will be in an array. Then what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll print all the names to my screen using the HTML. No, like not in the console I'll, I'll print them here for that as usual just make a variable let's say my object and equals to the bracket code since I told you that it would be an array now Let's say my first friend has a first name of uh, um, Ali again and again. I don't have anything else in my mind at the moment. And his second, sorry, the last name is uh, Ahmad. Okay. So I, I'll use my students' names, let's say. Then my second. Uh, to uh, friend is let's say to um, fell and his last name is Kamran sorry I'm just shuffling names but then I have another name let's say I'll make it from myself uh, let's say and his last name is let's say Shah. Okay, so now let's make another one. So his first name is let's say Bath. I am my own friend, so I'll, I'll just write about it. And Shah. Okay, so this is an array and uh, it has these four names, right? So let's first save it. Let's see if the uh, syntax is correct. So I'll go to the validator and I'll write this and validate. Sorry, this is an extra. Oh, some issue. see what this website requires so sorry okay so uh, I forgot about the um, array square brackets all right so 
it's validated and it's right so now let's say I write here my object Object is not defined. What's the issue? Oh, sorry, sorry. The problem that I've done here, I'm really sorry for that. I just uh, got a little bit confused. So, as before, we had to use a starting and ending tags here, and then I have to make a within this object, I have to make a uh, the key value pair. I'm really sorry for that. So this is the key and this is the values. Pardon me. Okay. I'll save it. Now let's use uh, my object dot friend. There is still some issue. What could that be? Okay, sorry, there was um, some problem in the comment, so I had to uh, just shift it to a new file. Anyways, so now let's save it and let's check about my object dot friend. Okay, so if I click it, I'll have. four arrays 0 1 2 3 so I have a array of length 4 now let's say I use my object friend dot hmm, or simply 0 so it's working fine now variable let's say user is equal to um, my object dot friend now let's use now what I want to do is to um, iterate over all the objects and uh, display it in the console so what would I use I'll use a simple since it's a very uh, it's a simple array so I'll use a for loop mm, variable uh, x in users then console not log users x save it so here I have the names first name first name first name first name of the all of the uh, arrays all of the element of the array now let's uh, just beautify it a little bit so let's say I write uh, dot first name plus Last, last name uh, users x dot last name now let's see so these are the four users now let's see how uh, let's say I want to uh, shift all of these names to the HTML like over here so what would I do I would simply call the function of uh, 
document dot get uh, ID and in that we'll pass it the object of output and dot inner HTML equal to HTML. That's it. We also have to make a variable for the HTML so the variable HTML and let's make it an empty okay so let's see what happens okay there's some problem mm. get element by id oh sorry since i'm just so html uh, plus is equal to all of this Let me just search for this error. Okay, so sorry. Uh, the the division that I have used here that is output I haven't uh, defined it before. So uh, basically, what we are doing is we are calling uh, the get element by ID, and I forgot to uh, mention this before. So for that, it will I will just uh, go there here, and I would write. Um, I'll make a division division of having an ID of output and let's end the division okay so now let's save it so I have the names here so for that let's uh, use a line break over here plus So these are all the uh, names of the array. So let, let's just beautify a li it a little bit. I would say um, first of all x number x. So zero one two three. So I will, I will use the x plus one since the array starts from uh, zero. So I have to use plus one. So I'm sorry, I cannot use it directly like that. Plus one and use a number sign here. Okay. Okay, so what have we done here? We have made an uh, an object, my object, and then we used uh, different uh, key uh, value pairs of JSON. So I made a key a friend, and it has an array of four different names: this, 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 and this. Then after that, what I have done is. I've saved this object into the variable user in another object, and we have iterated through a uh, we have iterated the array using a for loop. Then we wanted to print uh, the names in the HTML uh, section. So for that, we have used the get element by ID and uh, having a, a division ID of output, and we have. Uh, printed this HTML over here. All right, so this is how we get data from using JSON uh, in JavaScript. So I have 
I've, I've created the data first and then I've used it here. The same way you can do is you can get the data from any web server around the world definitely for which you have access and you can show the data to your user over, over here. So talking about that now we'll be uh, focusing on uh, getting the data from another server. I hope I have internet. Yeah, I have it. So let's uh, just move here and okay. So just remove all of this and get back to the previous all right now what will I do I would use a website a website's API basically that is named as random user dot me it has an API that API works like if you uh, enter it again and again refresh it again and again so it generates random users uh, from its data so we'll Im import all of that uh, data to our uh, this uh, website uh, and then we'll show it to the user so first of all let's uh, jump to the uh, website that how does it work let's use it here so it is random user dot me slash API so this is how the JSON looks like in raw form so this is basically a proper JSON formatting but it is in the raw form let's refresh it so the data has changed it has uh, it, it got another random user now again so data is changing Let's say I copy this and I go to here and paste it here and I validate JSON so it will come in a it's a valid JSON and it will come in the uh, in a proper shape so it has results its gender is male its name is Mr. Volkan and then its location Turkey uh, time zone email address uh, then date of birth and picture so we'll use all of the data in our website so it is like this so let's copy it and let's paste it in our code so let's define a variable data is equal to all of the code right I have it here okay let's save it let's see what do we see here uh, data so this is all the data you can see that it has different info it has results and results and gender and date of birth and ID and location so it goes within the <coughs> nested loops if I uh, console it directly uh, display it directly console.log and the data that we have previously uh, defined here this data so what do you think it will uh, display let's save it so it has displayed it like this a function that is used to parse this uh, raw form into a proper JSON form is uh, Let's say I use the function var, um, let's name it data JSON is equal to JSON dot parse and we'll use the data there. Then save it. Some problem JSON of parse. Data JSON JSON parse. Let's 
check out what the problem is. Very good person. Okay, so it's all right. <clears throat> so this is the uh, this is how we use the uh, uh, data that we have previously uh, covered. So now, as uh, before, if I want to use the data, just wait for a minute. Let me check. Okay, so the issue was that uh, uh, basically uh, what what we do is when we uh, import the raw uh, uh, JSON data in uh, the compiler and then we run it, so it, it it is considered as a raw data. But in this current compiler, I have uh, the facility of um, having it parsed automatically. So if uh, it doesn't have this facility then we use the parse function so since we do not uh, since it's already pre-installed here so I do not want I do not use um, the parse function so uh, okay so let, let, let's just revise it a little bit so first of all um, I have this data so let's save it and let's search for the data okay so going here and searching um, about the data so this is the info it's the seeds and stuff like that then if we go to results so result is an array having only one element that is zero and within that array it has different uh, uh, different type of data inside so this so basically in the zeroth element of this array results we have the uh, data of of uh, the um, of this user this random user anyways so what i have to do i have to make a variable person is equal to data dot uh, results and which one element it is zero element so it will have now if I click person here so I have all the data about the person right okay so I have got the data now I want to uh, show uh, the name and image etc of this person in the HTML section. So for that, what I have to do is I have to first use the output that we have defined previously in the division, and I have to make it document dot sorry, document dot query selector, and to that we have to pass the ID output. right now we have to make a variable of let's say HTML is equal to um, first of all I would like to uh, display the name so person dot name dot first and then it's his last name uh, person dot name dot last name right and now 
have to use output as previously dot inner HTML is equal to the HTML we have just uh, defined. So let's save it. Hope it works this time. Yeah. So it's his name is Vulcan Atten, whatever it is, and we have successfully uh, loaded it to the user. Now if I want to um, uh, see his picture as well, so his picture is basically in the uh, person and within person we have the picture so within the picture we have the thumbnail and okay so now I have to use HTML plus is equal to I want to add this to it and would use uh, the image source image source and the image source is basically where is it okay so person dot picture dot thumbnail and okay so now let's close that all right um, okay so here is the uh, picture of the person now let's say so what have we done we have copied uh, the the raw data from this uh, this website randomuser.me it's an API data so I've just pasted it here a raw data the compiler has uh, parsed it automatically so we, we do not use uh, we, do, we do not need to use the uh, json.parse function so when I when I search for the data here so the data had uh, different uh, uh, key value peer, uh, key value pairs here so all of the data about the person was in the result zeroth element so I have used person is equal to data dot result zero then we um, make this division as a query selector and then first name last name and then his uh, his or her image uh, source that was in person dot picture dot thumbnail and it is here now let's say if I uh, refresh this so this is another person let's see if it if it changes or not so copy and paste one so the person has changed right so this is how we get data from uh, a remote server and we show it to the user all right so this was um, almost uh, sort of a basic but uh, i just wanted to give you an idea how json works so this was uh, about the json we will also um, use json in uh, the uh, the coming video or the coming lab that uh, we will be using ajax so again we'll be using json there so now in the second part i'll tell you about the restful apis using the postman um, software so for that you have uh, j j just go to google and uh, use the postman uh, download the postman app it is free uh, for download so just download it make your uh, id in it and then uh, run it so then we'll start okay so now uh, welcome to the section of uh, restful apis um, what are basically a uh, restful api we have four four to five restful apis that is get post delete uh, put and one other that is patch so post get put and delete are the most commonly used APIs so what does they do 
it is basically used to get and uh, to delete some data to retrieve some data and to post some data for example if we talk about the the post so post is used to create some new data in a database or in a server then we have get so get is as the name suggests it is used to retrieve the data back then we have the uh, put uh, so uh, put is used to uh, update or replace uh, the existing data then we have patch so pa patch is used uh, uh, for, for modification uh, of its own self but it is, it is used very rarely and delete as the name suggests it is used to delete some data okay so what's the difference between post and put basically post is only used when you want to create some new data some new new ID and put is used when you want to update or replace some previously uh, available data but if you use put and give it some data and it it will first check the location if it is not uh, if if the id is not there so it will it can also create a new id just like post and it will uh, update that place okay so post get put and delete you can just uh, read about this post get uh, delete and put in any of the website so then there are some HTTP codes these HTTP codes are basically uh, there when you use any of these uh, requests HTTP requests so these codes tell you that whether the request is successful or not or if it is not successful then what is the problem so let's say if you use post and it creates a new uh, uh, data in the location successfully so it will uh, return the code 201 and it means created if you use get and it works successfully it will uh, return 200 that is used for ok then put it will be 405 or delete ok Okay, just forget about these two. Let, let, let's just uh, move to HTTP uh, codes. So we'll study it. All right. So, so these are basically the codes from one to five. So one access means that one hundred and so on, then two hundred and so on, then three hundred and so on. So one. 100s are used for informational response, 200s are used for success, 300s are used for redirections, 400 are used for client errors, and 500s are used for server errors. Let's say uh, 100 is used to continue, 101 is used for switching protocols, processing, okay, 200. 200 is used for OK standard response for successful HTTP requests. The actual response will depend on the request method. In a GET request, the response will contain an entity corresponding to the requested resource. In a POST requ uh, request, the response the response will contain an entity describing or containing the result of the action. So just go through this uh, uh, H, uh, the, this Wikipedia page, and you will get to know that what are the different kinds of uh, HTTP HTTP return codes. So like as previously previously stated if you use uh, uh, a post method and it is successful it, so it will return to zero one that means it has been created two zero two is accepted and so on then three hundreds uh, th these are very uh, common uh, codes like four hundred a bad request four zero one it is unauthorized uh, four zero two four zero three forbidden it's a very common one four zero four not found a very common uh, code so these are all the codes so I just wanted to give you uh, a background of the codes we will be using here in the Postman. So I hope you guys have installed the Postman software and logged in. So, right, so. And, uh, okay. Okay, 
So this is how the interface looks like. <clears throat> this is the history uh, of the um, uh, di different uh, requests you have made. Uh, so like for example, um, th this request I did it in uh, February, not this February, I suppose it was in 2019 somewhere. I, I used this uh, request for, uh, there was a German company, so there was a project so I was working in that. Uh, then today I just studied a little bit these. So this the, here you can see all the uh, requests that you have used before. In collection you have different uh, requests that you want to use and you can even save and I'll just let you know, you can even save new uh, requests here. All right, so <clears throat> first of all, let's say there is a test request. We will go here and we'll go to the request methods and get request. So once you click it, this will pop up. So this is a common uh, uh, URL. So HTTP, it is uh, just just used for uh, uh, HTTP. Then this is the URL, the, the website name. Then you use the get uh, request, and then these are the different parameters. Now, for example, this is uh, test is equal one two three. You can add other parameters. Let's say I want to add name here. So name, let's say bath. So this is how do we how, how we write it so slash get a question mark so here after the question mark the uh, parameter starts so the first one is test and its value is one two three so this is the key this is the value test one two three then the key is name and a bath so key and value and between uh, these two we'll use an ampersand and if you want to add an other one so let's say let's say I use age and let's say 30 so this is how we use it you can also uh, change its uh, yeah so now the first one is name then test and then age so now let's say if we send it all right so how do we know that it has been sent successfully you can see that using the status so the status is 200 and it is okay the time is uh, it was done in 1340 milliseconds and this is all the data that we have received that is in the json format we can change the format here from the xml to html and others so this is an xml format so it has the parameters the arguments as name test and age and these are uh, the other uh, properties uh, this is the URL that we have used. Other than that, we can in Postman there is a very good uh, property that is yeah code. If you click code, and I want to do the same thing here in the code, so I can have a preloaded code here. Like let's say I want to code it using uh, Swift. So see, I've got the complete code here. If I want to use Ajax, so this is a complete code over here. If I want to use, uh, let's say, uh, PHP and curl, so this is how we use it here. So this is a complete code. We do not, uh, we do not need to write any code. Okay. So this is just a a, a GET request. We can also use a, a POST request. Let's say no. Okay, if you want to save, let's say you have uh, written a query, uh, you, you have written a, a request and you want to save it. So we just go here, just save as. So this is the get request. You can even change its name. Let's let's, let's say test. So you can create a collection, a folder. Let's say uh, lab. Right.
you can save to lab now if you come to this collection you have it here so lab if you go to test so this is the test all right this uh, you can also delete it as I don't need it it was just a junk all right now if I want to use some other request let's say I want to use a, a post request of form data let's see so this is how we use the post so you you cannot write simply uh, the parameters uh, over here you right. so you just if you want to send it so this is how it has it is in the JSON format it is 200 ok then put then delete you can try these uh, different uh, requests uh, let me check if it is saved over here devops yeah this was the project that uh, was given to me uh, i don't remember it exactly but i will just uh, go through it so the uh, okay let's just open this get request so see the, there was no authentication over here so if you uh, make some authentication so it will ask for some uh, uh, username and password so everyone cannot just use this get without the authentication so this is for the security purpose so coming back here so it has a basic uh, so I, I hope this website should have been deleted till now I don't think it will work now okay so it doesn't work so the website has been deleted okay so it was a devops uh, task <clears throat> so the website is there uh, is uh, has been deleted so this was its username and it was the password this is basically the founder of uh, linux that is uh, linus torvalds so this was the, this is the authentication in the header file this was the he header file this was the body the body was only my name and my email address so this was the body so I had to send this body <coughs> using uh, using this uh, this website having an uh, authorization of uh, this username and password through the port 61337 so this was a port that was assigned to me so that I can only and only send my data this body data through this port of this website so this was all about the uh, postman uh, uh, software so uh, l let me just check if anything is remaining okay so it's almost done just one thing uh, that I forgot is uh, when, when you want to send some data in uh, let, let's say this body data so it's in JSON format so you have to make uh, it uh, you have to mark it here uh, in the header so you have first you have to use the content type let's say if I write here content type and then you write application JSON or application slash so it has different versions like I can use XML I can use many so I can use I will use JSON <coughs> so this is used when when you want to tell uh, the, the, the client the, the, the server that the body that is uh, that is being sent is in the format of is in the format of JSON and then there is uh, uh, one more uh, parameter that is uh, that is used for uh, receiving the data back so for that you have to use allow uh, in, in place of this content type you have to use allow and then you, you will you will write that uh, the, the return type should be an XML or JSON or whatever it is so the response will be in that language so and also if there is any authorization needed for uh, this request so you will use authorization type all right so this was all about the uh, postman so we have covered the JSON today and the postman uh, RESTful APIs 
Um, so I'll uh, upload this uh, to the classroom and as well as with the lab assessment I will most probably uh, by tomorrow I'll upload a new video uh, that will we'll be covering a a a Ajax we'll, we'll cover the Ajax in it so uh, it is just a part of it but is basically uh, a separate lab so since we have missed one week so it will be uh, covered in these two videos so thank you so much for uh, um, listening to me and i hope that you have uh, understood a little bit about uh, the, the basically the basics of json so thank you so much and uh, take care allah hafiz